Astros continuing coverage of Eastern League Baseball is on the air. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Big Daddy will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And that's off his leg on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be OK to try and continue. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Ball one. Here's the pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball, one and two now. The one, two. And he reaches for one out of his own and misses rather badly for the first out. Big Daddy will stand in and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Oh, a tough play. Throw from a knee is too late. And that will be an infield single. And now they've got a man out there with nowhere to go. And they will tag him out between first and second. Boy, I'm not sure what he's doing out there. I mean, you've already got the base hit. Take a turn and hold on. Turn around, give your first base coach a high five. Instead, I guess he's thinking about two, but whatever he's doing, it didn't work out, and it wasn't all that smart. Boswell is there, and it's a picture-perfect beginning to the ninth inning for a pitcher. One pitch, one away. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our tops player of the game. And I think, all things considered, this was really...
the show's continuing coverage of Eastern League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's the first of three to start the new week between the Reading Fightin' Films and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Big Daddy will stand in, and you see the slow start by the numbers as he's struggling to crack 200 on this new season. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Ed Kennedy will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. First offering on the way. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. He's ready now, the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He may not throw a ton of change-ups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it, because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are, so the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. He reaches for one out of the zone, and this is rather badly for the first out. Well, you know when you get two strikes on you, you go into that protection mode up there at the plate. Let's see where this pitch winds up. Oh, yeah. That thing's nowhere near the strike zone. And that's a good job of making a guy go fishing for something he didn't really want to hit. Into the box, Steven Diaz. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Here's the 1-0. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Garvin is there. Let's see if they test it. And never much of a chance to even think about scoring there. What a big second out. Here's another instance of a ball actually hit too hard to try to score on. He doesn't have to go all that far to make the play here. So it's probably a wise decision not to test his arm. All right, boy. All right. Here we go. Stepping in now, Derek Romer, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. He's ready, now the pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now, 0-2 here, this is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. He's set, now the pitch. Hey, and he'll just waste one there, one and two. The one two. Hit hard but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Get him away. Give him the best stuff. Here we go. They have a rip up there right now. Again, a one two. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. Here we go. Sets the 2-2 pick. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Here comes a 2-2. Two -two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Wow, what an at-bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Full count offering on its way. 
And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Once again, a 3-2. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Redding leads it one to nothing. Big Daddy will stand in. An RBI double to his credit the first time around. Now the first pitch. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Boy, we've seen a lot of guys be late on that fastball tonight, and I think that all comes from being a little over-aggressive. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Pitch on the way. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. And this is a spot where, to me, you don't need to play home run derby. I mean, if your last name is Pujols or Fielder, maybe. But for a guy like this, you just try to get on base and give your guys a chance to drive you in. Number 99. Hit drive it. Let's go, Ted. One down. One down. First pitch coming. Made it fly, boys. Yeah. Fouled back. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. From the belt, the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time. And there are two away. Uh, I know my job here is to be an analyst and to try and add some insight to what's happening on the field. But folks, words cannot describe how badly he got fooled on that pitch. I'm not even going to try. Big Daddy will get another crack. One for three thus far. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. 